Hello everyone, welcome to your weekly oracle card reading. This week I will be using Divine Guidance by Cheryl Lee Harnish, as well as The Romance Angels by Doreen Virtue. And we'll start with Divine Guidance today. <laughs> All right. So, the first card is I believe called Loved Ones. So, this card is a confirmation that those we love on the other side are always with us and are always there to keep us safe and they want to let us know that they love us and that we can call on them for help and for guidance. This one. <sighs> This card is all about getting in touch with the earth and going for walks in nature and enjoying nature all around. And when you are grateful for your food and for all of the beauty of nature, then you will be more connected to the earth and be able to receive guidance from the earth as well. And this card is intimacy. It's about love and right now this is an important energy for you guys and for all of us and the swirls coming together represent two people coming together and it's important for us to be open with the people we love and to share intimate moments of, you know, trust. This one is angelic being. And we all have a guardian angel to keep us safe and they're always there to love us and protect us so whenever you're feeling a little unloved or a little down just know that you always have this angelic being to embrace you with love whenever you desire and you can always call upon them if you're feeling a little bit insecure or um, less than confident or Maybe if you're around energies that are not always comfortable, um, call upon your angel to uh, put her love around you so that you can feel more energetically well. <laughs> and there's this card. And this card is all about abundance and knowing that there's infinite abundance abundance around us and that giving and receiving are both important so whenever you need something make sure to put some energy out there or go work for it a little bit but make sure that you're also being receptive when it's necessary to be receptive don't push too hard all the time. You gotta learn to receive as well. And also, when you're receptive, you can also feel healing energy. And when your body is relaxed, that's when you can do the most healing to your body. So making sure to meditate and relax and take baths and also go for walks in nature are all very healing activities. So. 
Okay, let's do the Romance Angels. So, healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Yeah. Forgiveness is always important. And when you are forgiving, you're basically letting go of the burden of the pain that you experience from that experience. And when you have a burden of pain on you, it's hard to allow the love to flow to another because you're somewhat held down by that pain. So the best thing to do is to forgive whoever has hurt you in your past, whether it's your family or past people or past friendships. Well, yeah. And yeah, and as you forgive those wrongs that were done to you, then more love is free to flow through you and therefore your love life will benefit from that. <laughs> religious factors. Your love life is influenced by a religious upbringing and spiritual path. So, in some cases our religion can place those burdens of guilt on us, but in some cases our religion or spiritual upbringing can allow us to feel the love more fully. So it just depends on what your you know, personal upbringing was. But knowing that there are religious factors involved can help you be more clear about what might need to be healed, whether it is a sense of guilt or a sense of you know, right and wrong type of feelings. So opening your mind is very important and maybe looking at your spiritual per beliefs from a more objective perspective and realizing that, you know, maybe there's more than just these ideas and moving past those ideas can promote healing as well. And it's always good to expand beyond what you've created uh, the little comfort zone you've created out of your beliefs. It's sometimes scary at first, but it's not always a bad thing. It's usually, you know, afterwards you'll feel much better and realize, oh, it's a good thing I let go of those beliefs because now I am aware that I can, you know, be more of service to the world or uh, somehow open your mind more to let, allow more possibilities to come in. So, yeah. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. So, maybe you have a child or maybe someone you love has a child and it's always good to be open with your children and to guide them in the most loving way possible and when you are in a peaceful state of being even if they're being a little rambunctious um, it will help them be in a more peaceful state so just knowing that will you know, be beneficial for you and the children. So, yeah. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So, ah, enjoying the beauty and enjoying the moment fully just allows you to be more open to love and 
yeah, not putting any expectations on another also allows you to just enjoy this moment. And just uh, enjoying each other's company to the full presence that is possible will help you be more open with another and yeah, you'll be able to allow the love to flow easier that way. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Yeah. So, being open and honest is always important. And just making the first move can lead the way to more love. So, don't be afraid to express yourself, but try not to put too high of expectations on another either. Kind of similar to what I said earlier there. Just being present with the person and being honest with the person will lead to more love, basically. So, all right. That's your reading for the week. Um, thank you for watching, and I will talk to you guys next week.